Please, no! What? Today we're gonna be doing a level called Sour Cream 2. It's by Sir Punge. It's a mega collab. It was by Sir Punge and a lot of other people. It's a really fun level. I really like the gameplay on it. I don't really know if it's an insane demon. I think I'd call it more of a hard demon. Uh, but yeah, it's incredible. I love the song. I love the gameplay. The gameplay has some really unique bits. Although there are a couple annoying bits, but that's okay. We'll, we'll persevere. We're gonna do one round of practice. I'll just go over some of the trickier bits in the level. So the beginning of the level is actually really easy as I die. Gotta jump a little late there. Gotta hit that. There's a pretty much like a free coin up there. All you gotta know is that that moves. And then like you hit a jump pad down there. It's just the beginning of this level is really easy. Go up, you can get a coin up there. There's a coin in the tree. Now the UFO part, I'll go over the timing. There's a lot of parts where you have to double click and some parts you go slow, some parts you go fast. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. There we go, that's the timing. <laughs> no big deal. I'm gonna die there a lot, aren't I? That's one of the trickier parts, in the beginning anyways. The beginning's pretty easy. Like this ball part, it looks really hard at first, but it's just about knowing like which jump rings to hit. And then this right here, those chains will kill you. So you need to know when to jump. So jump, 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 fall, jump, and jump over that spike. Easy peasy once you know what to do. The timings are pretty loose too. Like you can be a little late. You just gotta basically know what you're doing. It's not a matter of like crazy timings. Just know what you're doing and your, your gravy, the gravy train. But the beginning of the level's still like pretty easy. It's all about the end of the level, boy. When the duel starts. When the duel starts, you know shit's going down. Listen to those clicks. Mmm, yeah, I'm clicking. That's right, I'm clicking. I'm not using the controller anymore. I'm clicking. Now, some people might have trouble with this wave part. I don't think it's particularly hard. Some people might have trouble at this transition right here. It goes, like, fast, and then that. But I don't know. It's not that hard. Now, here we go. Now, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of sour cream, too. That's right. I put sour cream on my meat and potatoes. Sour cream is delicious. And Korea doesn't have sour cream, so god damn my life! You go up, and then you fall down all the way there, and then just focus on the top one at the top. It's just a matter of knowing what to do. So you go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's really easy to do once you know what to do. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but... The ball part is... The ball part's the hard part of the duel. And it's really not... It's not that hard once you know what to do. But it plays mind games with you. And that's the hard part about it. So you fall, and then go up, and then fall, and then you gotta go up quick, you know? You feel like you should be able to click the button twice to steady yourself out, but you really just click the button like you go up once, and then go up again. Oh my god. This ball part, you don't just go up once. You gotta press press it twice so that the balls are both on the same, like, gravity. So they're, like, both reverse. So if you press it once, they just switch. You go one, two, like that. Oops, he's too late. One, two, like that, and they're both on the top. So one, two, and then you focus on the one on the bottom, because the one on the bottom there's there's a spike and it's really easy to go up too early so you focus on the one on the bottom so one two and then oopsies do 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 and then this do, this wave part is like pretty simple there's a lot of room this part trips me out like you go on the bottom and then up and then down but like i die you know this part is really weird and i can't ever do it consistently it's really weird and that's gonna frustrate me. That's one of the annoying parts I was telling you about. This part, you gotta hit that like green jump ring a little late, but it's not that bad. The part before this is hard. Now, funny games part, oh my God. You need to know when to push the button and when not to. I think I have it memorized, but holy shit is it hard. Jump, 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 jump. Hold down the button before you hit the ground. Hold, hold, tap, jump, jump. Jump, tap, jump, tap, jump. Oh my god, are you following this tutorial? This is amazing. And then you gotta get ready for Sir Punges. You go down low. Uh, it's actually not that hard, except for the very end of it. So this part, you remember, up, down, hold down the button, go up, ah. So boom, boom, boom. And then and then there's that corridor you gotta remember. It's just, it's just crazy. I gotta practice this a little more. I do not wanna die here when I get here. Okay, I won't die. I'm not gonna die there. It's settled. I'm really good at tutorials, guys. Guys, I'm nervous now. Now that the song's playing, I'm scared. What am I doing? I'm spooked. Oh yeah, look at this. We're going, I just got a coin. I'm so blinging. 
What webcam do I use? A C920, I think? Oh, shit. This is my mouse practice. Yeah, boy! Nailed it. Oh, what? I didn't, I didn't hit the jump rings fast enough. Are you kidding me? That's so easy. I missed the coin. I'm amazing at that. Well, that was our best run so far, 50%. No! <laughs> what? I jumped and I fell in the hole after? That's a thing? Are you kidding me? How did that happen? Wow, did I hold, hold it down too long? Are you kidding me? That's too bad. Here we go, boys! Are you- oh! I focused on the bottom one, didn't realize you could fall down too, fall, too far there. Ah, oh, poop! God damn! I went up as the ball too early, come on. See, that's one thing, is my timings are just- they're still a little off with the mouse. Get the squad fam lit. What? I can't believe I hit the bottom. Come on, 70%. We nailed the ball part and I died to the easy wave. Please, no! What? I hit the slope! That's not supposed to happen! I hit the slope and it like bumped me up! Uh, no! Ah, that hurts because I got past all the hard parts. Like, I, that wave where there's the moving spikes is very hard. That's a really hard part. And I got past it. I can't believe it, no! Not going so hot with the mouse. I'm gonna try the controller and I'm gonna see. Let's see how this goes. They're both hard games that are satisfying to complete. Levels in. Um, but... Geom Trash is just one button. Mario Maker has some more layers to it, I guess. So... Sometimes I'm in the mood for that. Sometimes I'm in the mood for just... Geometry that It's all about timings and just... Skill, right? Mario Maker, there's a little more know-how that goes into it.
Yeah! Woo Sour cream too, baby! We did it! Man, that was clutch! Oh, my heart! The ending part, it comes at you quick, you know? Comes at you quick. Boom, boom! Woohoo! Nice! Hell yeah, guys! That was exciting. Woo! What an ending. Controller. You came through for me, buddy. Mouse. I need to practice with you a little bit. We need to do some EVW challenges with you. We need to get a little bit better with you. But it's gonna come. It'll come one day, buddy. That is awesome. I would call that a hard demon. It's not quite an insane. It's a pretty hard, hard demon, but it's not quite an insane demon. Some pretty tricky bits, but it's just, there's, the insane demons that are out there are way harder than Sour Cream too. Although, this level is so much fun. I love the gameplay in this level. When I first practiced it, I had so much fun. And even though I was dying a lot, it's still so much fun. I love it. It's a beautiful XL hard demon. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. If you have the skill, you should totally play it. it took me 1290 attempts, although, I was doing it with the mouse. What I was finding with the mouse was, I was better at some of like the ball timings with the mouse and the fast clicks. When I had to click fast, I could click faster with the mouse. But when it came to overall control of the wave, especially like the dual wave, it came to overall control of the flying, I still have a long ways to go. With the controller, I was so much more comfortable in the dual wave section. I didn't die there once. With the mouse, I was dying there all the time. Like with the controller, boom. Just nailed those parts easily, right? Still have a long ways to go. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.